this video, we will discuss the problem reverse a sublist of a linked list. The problem statement is clear that we are given with a linked list and positions M and N. We have to reverse the linked list from position M to position N. For example, you can see the linked list given to us is this and positions are 1 and 8. Okay. So this is a one bias linked list means positions are given according to one bias. So the first position is this and accordingly if you traverse this is the eighth position. So we have to reverse this linked list and the final output will be this. This is what we have to do. Okay. So now let's take an example to understand what we have to do. So this is a linked list given to us. Okay. You can see that there are two values m and n given to us. These are the values and this is the linked list. Okay. The value of n is 2 means this particular element and the value of m is 5 means this. Because this is one bias, so we can write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. So now what we have to do? We have to reverse this particular linked list. So the final output will be the other elements will be as it is. And this particular linked list, this particular part will be reversed. So it will be 2, 10, 3, 7. So we have to basically return this thing. Okay. So this is what we have to do. So, uh, so th this is the problem where we have to reverse a sub list. Okay. A sub list of a linked list. So first let's understand how can we reverse a linked list. Okay. How can we reverse a linked list? So let's take an example of a linked list and, uh, and understand how can we reverse it. Okay. So for example, linked list given to us is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 9. For example, this is the linked list. We have to reverse it. Okay. So for reversing, what we have to take, we have to take three pointers. The first pointer is current pointer, which is the current one. The second one is next pointer. And the third one is basically the previous pointer. Okay, so as the name suggests, current will be the current element, next will be the next element, the previous will be the previous. So here you can see that here we will have none. Okay, so first what we will do, first we will make next equal to current next, means that means the next node of the current element. So our, our current, our next pointer will point towards this one because this is our current one. Okay, then what we will do, we will make the current next is equal to previous okay this is the exact thing which we have to do now we have to make the current next equal to previous okay why we are doing this because currently if uh, so let me also give uh, directions to this thing list like this it will be easy to understand okay so when we are doing this we are making the next of current means we are changing this next to this one so now we have reversed for this particular one. and then what we will do we will make our previous is equal to current and our current is equal to next. So now our iterator will change their position. Previous will come at the place of current and current will come at the place of next. So now this is our previous and this is our current. And similarly, next is current next. So this will be our next. Similarly, we will repeat that only operation which we have done. So, so to repeat that again, what it will do is that it will change the current next to previous and again, that these two nodes will also be reversed. This is what we have to do. So this is how we can reverse a link. Okay. But in this case, what we have to do is we have to reverse a part of the, of the link list. So what we will do in this case, which is given to us, we will do that we will first take the link list, the, that sub, -li sub list out of this link list. So this is the whole link list you can see. This is the whole link list. What we'll do, we'll first take this part separate. Okay. And then using this part, what we'll do, we'll reverse it. And then we'll again attach it to the link list. Event. Okay. And we have already discussed how can we reverse a link list. So now let's move towards the code part that how can we achieve this. How can we implement the logic which we are thinking? Okay. So this is the code editor. So first what we will do, we will first write a function which will reverse a linked list. Okay. A function to reverse a linked list. So 
let's name that function reverse and that function will take a head pointer as its parameter the head pointer means the head pointer of the linked list which we have to reverse so in this case that head pointer will not be the head pointer of our given linked list that will be the head pointer of our sub list which we have to reverse okay so this is our reverse function okay which is taking a head pointer now what we will do we will similarly we will take two pointers as discussed the first will be, one will be previous and the second one will be current so the first is previous one okay you can see here and that previous is null and our next pointer is current okay now we have to take one more pointer which is next so for that because we have to iterate through the linked list we will take uh, a while loop which will be till current okay now what we will do we will take uh, another node which is next because to reverse a linked list we the, the three nodes are required and the third one is next node we will take it then what we will do we will we will do the same operations which we have discussed that we have to make the current next equal to the previous here we are basically reversing that two nodes of the linked list and then we will just update the value of previous to current and the value of current to next this is what we have to do and after this we have to just return the we have to just return and what we have to return is we have to return the previous okay in previous because we have reversed the linked list and now our head is basically the previous our head is now basically the previous pointer right yeah this is what we have to do so now in this program in this function what we have done we have we have written a code how can we reverse a linked list okay if the head pointer is given now what we will do we have to basically take out the sub list from our whole linked list and then we have to reverse that thing that particular sub list so now we will we will write a function for that okay so for that first of all we will take a base condition the base condition will be that if the base condition will be that if the value of m and n are equal in that case we have to just return the head we don't have to do anything we have to just return the head okay now we will discuss that how can we take that linked list out okay take take that sub list out of that whole list okay so for that let's once again understand it using the white board that what we are doing okay let us just discuss that thing okay so this is the linked list which is given to us okay so what we will do is that uh, we will take a pointer let's say i okay that i will start from here and first it will go up to the position n that's the first position so let's say this is the first position after going to the we will store two variables okay we will we will take uh, you can say the two pointers okay the first pointer will be reverse and the second pointer will be reverse previous okay so reverse will basically the here it will point here because this is the starting position of the sub list which we have to reverse and this is the reverse previous why because obviously when when we have to unlink this link this list, link list from here so we have to also again link it so for that this operator is required okay and similarly here we will have a reverse end and here we will have reverse and next let's see which is next to this reverse end this is what we will have okay so let's uh, do this okay let's uh, code that thing how can we do this so similarly we will have uh, four pointers okay as the name suggests and the initial value of that pointers will be just null okay the initial will be just null okay we have uh, declared them okay now let's see that what what we can do what how we can do. so uh, yeah so for first of all we will take a uh, iterator i okay so which will basically iterate and will, which will basically count at which particular node we are currently okay uh, great now what we will do here what we have here we have we have to first position is m and second position is n means we don't have to go after n the last position is n so we will take a while loop until current and until this i is less than is equal to n this is then we will iterate okay this is what we will do fine so now what we will do that uh, our current pointer will be 
we have to also take a current pointer obviously the current pointer is very much required okay means uh, the current node where which we are, we are currently pointing it will be head in start okay now we will we will place some base conditions okay the base condition is that till until the value of i will be less than n means if the value of i is less than n means we have not not reached our current position then what we will do we will just make our reverse previous is equal to current means that, yeah we are just iterating okay this is the first condition which we have to place fine now let's talk about a second position second condition so the second condition is that when we will reach m when i will become m in that case we have to store that particular node in a point in a point which is reverse so we have done that okay fine now what we will do similarly we have to check for i also when i will become n okay because the first position is m so we have stored it in a reverse and the second position is n so if i will become n we will store it in a reverse n and similarly the reverse and next will be the next of this particular so here we have got our all the all the four the position of all our four pointers okay now when this all will work when this all will be done here also we have to just iterate so we will make current is equal to current next just iterating position that we have to iterate now and also we have to make i plus plus after getting this whole while loop we have our position of all our pointers which is reverse and previous reverse like that all that pointer okay now what we have to do we have to reverse the link this okay we have to reverse the link so and before reversing what we have to do is we have to unlink that link list from our whole link list so for that what we will do let's see in this case for that what we will do this is our link list okay which we have to uh, unlink from this whole link list this is a sub sub list so what we will do we will make the next of this reverse end to null so it will just unlink from other other part of the link list. we will just make it null okay this is what we can do so similarly we will implement that thing here also okay so what we will do we will make reverse next is equal to null okay great so we can write here that reverse null is equal to reverse next is equal to uh, and next is equal to null okay great fine now we will just call a reverse function and our starting head point of the linked list which we have reverses R E V S reverse pointer which we have taken. So we have to pass this pointer because this is the starting position of our linked list which we have to reverse. Okay. And why we are taking it in a reverse end? Because when the linked list will be reversed, then its first pointer will become the last pointer when it will be re reversed. Fine. Okay. Great. Now let's see that what we have to do. Now we have to just again link that linked list into our original linked list. We have we will just link this. Okay. So now for link, what we have to do? Uh, so this was the link list which we have unlinked from the whole link list, and this was our reverse previous. So now what we have to do is we have to make the next of our reverse previous into the reverse end. So this was our reverse end, and now it is and now it is reverse. So now we have reverse end in this place. You can see. So now we have to make the reverse previous next is equal to reverse end. And why we have to do is so that this part is now connected here, means at the correct position, the reverse position. Okay, so this is what we will do. Fine, and this will be, we will do if the starting position is not head. So because it is also possible that the starting position of the sub list can be head also, means means we are just uh, uh, reversing from the head also. So if it is not head, then we will do this thing. And if that previous that reverse previous is head, or basically we have to reverse we have to reverse the whole link list from head to a particular pointer. In that case, what we will do? In that case, we will just make our head is equal to reverse end. Now our head will be the reverse of that particular subject. Okay, fine. This is what we have to. Do. Now what we will do? We will just implement that thing which we have discussed. Okay. And then we will make our reverse end in equal to reverse end next. 
So this is a basic implementation which we have to do. Okay. And now we have to just return our head. Okay. And this is what we have also tried in it. Okay. So this is the exact solution. How can we reverse our link? So now let's compile this code and check. You can see it has passed so the sample test cases. So now let's submit it. Okay. So you can see that the code is submitted successfully. Okay. This is how we can reverse a sub list of a linked list. Okay. And if we talk about the time complexity and space complexity for this particular solution, so you can see that we have not taken any extra space. So the space complexity for this particular algorithm will be O of 1 only because we have not taken any extra space. And if we talk about the time complexity, so we are just traversing through the linked list. So the time complexity will be O of n because we are traversing through the linked list. n is the number of elements in that linked list. And our space complexity will be O of 1. It will be constant because we have not taken any extra space. So I hope that this video is clear to you. If this video is clear, please like the video. Please comment below. Share this video with your friends and subscribe to the channel.